Okay, the numbing cream is on. What is the tiara? I expect my lips to be back to normal in like two days. There's a bloody bit of mold on the inside of my pesto. Hey, I've got something to show you. Can I film your reaction? <laughs> there is a lot of hummus there. It was so good. It was absolutely amazing. Like. Well, I thought I'd just start my vlog now. I currently, oh my gosh guys, I am obsessed with these Lulabelle's clip-ins. It has made me want them permanently, which I don't think will be very practical for me to have extensions, but oh my gosh, I'm literally but hello welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are doing well okay i'm actually really nervous so i'm going to get my lip filler dissolved today i'm always so open about like things i get when i get my lips done but um obviously because it can help people and I'm insightful about what's going on basically i've had filler now for i think three years and since then i haven't once had it dissolved and to be honest i only get a 0.5 mil at a time but i'll try and show you guys once i've eaten because my lips it will be off i just have a bit of migration and usually people's migration goes up here like up above their lip which kind of gives like a hint of like a little like I don't know, it just doesn't look the best when it migrates up here. I'm very lucky, mine has migrated downwards, but it does mean that when I smile, oh, my lipstick actually looks gross. I've just been taking pictures and like, you know, you're just applying like gloss and gloss and gloss and it looks really gross now. You see this? Okay, I know my lipstick looks gross, but can you see that? Yeah, you can, that crease and there's a little one there. Uh, okay, you can see it there kind of you can see the filler you can see it clearly there when i had my lips done last time she was like before you get more filler so i can give you filler this time but before you get more next time i'd probably say dissolve and then refill so i'm actually going to a new place today i just i saw them on instagram they're based in bristol like actually not too far from me at all um and I love the way they do their lips. They look so natural. And that's what I've always wanted. Like, I just want it to look like I have naturally fuller lips, which I don't. If you watch my vlogs from years ago, there is a drastic difference. I honestly, I think, who is that girl? But um, I'm actually shit scared because one, apparently it hurts. Two, I have to wait two weeks to get them refilled so you've got to wait for the filler to properly dissolve before getting them refilled and that makes me nervous my lips it sounds so stupid but if you guys have something like this you'll know like they've given me such a confidence boost like it was an insecurity like and now i don't even think twice about it so i am a bit scared but that's fine i'm here to document the process because like I said, it might help someone out. I'm gonna get some lunch. I don't know if I have time, but I really want to make the pesto eggs that are going around at the minute. But I thought I'd bring my camera. I don't know if I'll vlog in there, um, but I wanted to obviously document them before, after, and apparently they swell really, really bad as well. Catch me hibernating for two weeks. Do you know what? That This is why the masks are good. <laughs> um, I'm also playing a netball match tonight, so hopefully they don't look too crazy. I don't know, maybe I'll do a weekly. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm also getting something else done Friday, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about um so yeah let's get on with the rest of the vlog guys i made them i literally have about a minute to eat them so i'll let you know how they are yum my dad's kindly dropped me off um because i wasn't 100 percent sure where to park here's my lips <laughs> here's my lips before okay the numbing cream is on what is the so i'll expect my lips to be back to normal in like two days in two days really? To be fair, they don't. They have gone down quite a lot since the last time I had them done. So hopefully it's not too much of a difference. But obviously, I keep you guys posted. Yeah, I don't know what else. So you just insert it. Yeah. So we're injecting the liquid. Yeah. And then we'll give it a quick massage. Yeah. Over the next kind of hours to couple of days, you'll notice that your lips have gone down quite a bit, and then you should have your normal natural lips in two days. Okay. There we go. So. I will report back. Um, they have been dissolved. Let me 
that looks really bad now but um they have been dissolved and obviously they are now swollen but it was actually fine um i was in there a lot longer than i thought but um dr az was the guy that i saw and i feel so comfortable with him like starting my lips from from not from scratch my dad just stalled my car <laughs> starting my lips fresh again um because he's a doctor and like he just knows exactly what he's talking about obviously he injected um the like dissolving stuff oh i don't whatever it's called he injected that into my lips and then he had to like massage them and he said i'm gonna have a hefty bruise you can already see it um there and then he just like massaged my lips to like manually dissolve some of the filler i'm a bit nervous but he actually moved my filler appointment to next saturday which means i only i don't have to wait two weeks i couldn't wait like 10 days or something so that's good okay guys it's a while later I look kind of grim but i'm actually off to a netball match tonight here are the lips so they have obviously gone down quite a lot i've got a fat bruise there he did say that I would get one. Yeah, feeling kind of weird. Oh, it's weird, isn't it? But I will speak to you guys probably when I get home because I'm not going to take my camera. And yeah, I'll see you after netball. They've really gone down. I've just got home from netball. I haven't. I've been home from netball, had my dinner. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I now feel so. Oh, it's so stupid. It's like an insecurity, like from three years ago, like coming back and. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Not me realizing that I didn't show you the finished product is now in my stomach. Well, <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> good morning guys so here they are they're okay they're okay obviously we're still quite bruised i've just put some carmex on because they're quite dry but yeah cute cute and natural see my um top teeth very clearly though i'm just sat hi dad my dad's just gone on a run so i had a self tape through today or the day before that needs to be in tomorrow at 12. um so i'm just i don't i can't really show you it but this is the length and another bit that I have to learn. So I'm just trying to do that now. I'm actually doing like an interview thing at half ten. So I'll explain more once I'm ready. Um, and we'll see how the lips look with a bit of makeup on. Why do I look so washed out? Okay, well, I'm making pesto eggs again because I really fancy them. <laughs> and I've just put my pesto in the pan thing to crack the eggs into. <laughs> And there's a bloody bit of mould on the inside of my pesto. I had it yesterday. Am I going to have it again today? Oh, it's because it's cheese. Green pesto made with basil. 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 Romano cheese. And pine. Fuck it. Fuck it. I had it yesterday. I just kind of heat the pan up till it's... Like I'm a fucking expert on pesto eggs. Till it's hot and then crack the eggs into it oh so i had the interview it went really well it's just like on zoom it's sort of um so a girl who her and her housemates they study journalism at uni so i'm gonna turn that down that's quite hot they studied journalism at uni and they started an online magazine and they wanted to interview me for it which is so cool and just answer questions about like fashion and just life in general which was really cool i really enjoyed it Ooh, okay, that pesto is steaming away. I'm gonna burn it in a minute, aren't I? So she did say about a week and a half till the interview will be out. So if it's out, I'll leave it linked in the description to have a read. We're just talking about some like fashion staples, my fashion inspo, stuff like that. It was just really cool. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm gonna make my pesto eggs and then I am meeting my friend Luke for a late lunch. Um, I'm just hungry now um and he's gonna help me shoot some content for a brand which is very kind of him he always gives me a helping hand <gasps> Ooh. oh yeah 
Okay, little fried egg tip. Everyone probably knows this already, but if you have like a lid to your frying pan, put it on. We don't have a lid, so I just use this like little um, dish and it just makes sure the top of the egg gets cooked as well without having to flip it. Pretty sure everyone must know that, but it was a game changer for me. Ooh. Right. Let's go. Ooh, it's actually warm today. What the heck? About bloody time as well. We are nearly in May. Uh, in June, sorry. Um, let's go and meet Luke. I don't know where we're going to go for lunch. Hopefully somewhere nice. Um, and he can help me shoot my content. Let's get the tunes going. <laughs> Right, I'm with Luke. Hello. Why is it starting on me? Hello. No, I've, um, it's not, this is not the start of the vlog, no, you know that? Come on. <laughs> not that special. Okay, we found this cute new shop. We're going to go in. See what it's all about. Oh, it's quite intimate. To be. Oh, wow. I really want some plants for my room. Wow, that's really cute. Oh, look at the pampas. Anything that your heart does. Oh, wow, look at the hands. Nice. Right, let's go find some food. Okay, so yeah, I'm now in town. It's actually a lot warmer than I thought. The trench was very unnecessary. Dressed for winter. Um, yeah, my trench coat was very unnecessary, but um, we're in town. We're gonna find some food. I can't see something like really fresh. Fresh and nice, is what I fancy. Okay guys, so we were just walking out of boots to get some water and our, <laughs> yeah, and our food flew all over the floor, but luckily it stayed in its box. Nice lady, don't forget to shout out the lady. Oh yeah, I will 100% shout out the, are you giving me the fork that fell on the floor? Or have you got it? They all, everything fell on the floor, dude. <laughs> um, we got Eats a Pitta. I don't know if it's just a Bristol thing or not, but, um, yeah, a really kind lady. Oh, it was the hummus. Oh, it was the hummus, was it? Yeah, a really kind lady saw that um, our bag broke and then handed us a carrier, which is really kind. But I will show you, oh well, here's Luke's. What did we go for in the end? A Moroccan hummus bowl. A Moroccan hummus bowl, which comes with a pitta. Straight from Morocco as well. Straight from Morocco. From Paris to Berlin and every disco. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got some Oh no! <laughs> I got now, you know. <laughs> I got some halloumi as well. I can't open it, and then it also comes with a pitta. So yum! Let's open the bowl. Is it a Bristol thing or not? I don't know. I've never seen it anywhere else. There is a lot of hummus there. I know. That's what I said. A shit ton, actually. A shit ton of chips. Oh! Hang on. Cheers. Let's give it a dip. Taste, taste review. Mmm, mmm, that's good. Delightful. I love gherkins. Have you got anything on underneath that? No. <laughs> oh, you're butt naked. I have got a bra on. Can't take it off. Jump could definitely come off though, it's that kind of weather. Right guys, I'm in public, so. Okay, I'm in town. Today is the day. I'm off to go get my belly button pierced. Um, I'm really excited, I'm really nervous, but I got caught in traffic, so I'm speed walking because I'm running slightly late. But I'm very excited. I hope it doesn't hurt. Fingers crossed. I'm nervous. I hope I like it. Oh my gosh, but um, yeah, I will show you after when it's done. <laughs> okay, hello guys. So um, the belly button has been pierced, but <laughs> um, basically it was absolutely fine. Yes, it did hurt, but me the piercer was lovely but we kind of had a slight miscommunication which i'll explain to you guys about in a minute one sec we're just sorting our parking and i'll be back we are out shooting some content well we're about to shoot some content just had some lunch basically so it's nothing major like obviously my belly button is pierced and i just asked the lady before for like what i thought the belly bar was going to be 
turns out you wanted something and it wasn't yeah exactly so what i wanted. i basically thought she had got one bar because she was ordering a gold one for me and i thought she had one turns out it was a gold a gold bar but not gold in color if yeah. you see what i'm saying um but she'd ordered it for me and i felt really bad being like that's not the one i wanted but i probably should have really but i think <laughs> At the end of the day, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Um, hopefully I can get it changed. I know that belly buttons are a nightmare with like healing and changing. Um, oh, there's loads of people here, I feel a bit embarrassed. Um, where are we going? Should we go left? Um, I up? feel like we should go up. Okay, fine. Yeah, so I know it's a bit of a nightmare. I'll show you guys when I'm home. It's like a bronze color rather than like a gold. But I mean, I know it's only for now until it heals and then I can change it but it's fine it did hurt I'm not gonna lie I was like really breathing like like that but yeah anyway it's done my belly button is pierced it is done um the woman was lovely it was just a slight I should have just double checked before actually having it done is it all right I think it looks up I think it's not exactly what you wanted so that's why you kind of feel a bit reserved on it yeah and I think it's yeah i'll show you guys what i mean but i hopefully two months time i'll get the one that i actually Desire. want in there guys okay, so george is currently changing Hello. <laughs> in his tent i have on this really like unlike me fit it's this orange skirt from nasty gal top is nasty gal i also have a little um bandana that i put in my hair you okay yeah no my shirt just fell off oh okay <laughs> I put in my hair from Nasty Girl as well, but I thought whilst George is changing, um, we've just been shooting some content. But I'm gonna try and quickly show you my belly button. This is obviously a fresh piercing. There could be like a bit of blood, so if you don't like that, please click off. But yeah, if you don't mind, then stay. Okay, I'm covering the the crusty bandage, but it's kind of growing on me. I'm not. It, you just see what I mean. To be honest, I rarely have my belly button on show in my clothes anyway. I think that's part of the reason why I got it done to give me a bit more confidence um, with my stomach. Um, because people say that it it does help. They really have grown to like it since getting their belly button pierced. I mean, by summer we should have a nice shiny, actually gold bar <laughs> in there, which was the plan all along. Um, ready for hot girl summer, you guys know. Oh. how it is what's the final fit george is on look number three yeah. what have we got so i feel like at the moment i'm wearing like 90s look like yeah the blue shirt the white t-shirt yeah and, and the kind of like baggy-ish jeans i feel like um hallie in um parent trap yes yeah when they're at the vineyard i know exactly what you yeah. mean and i i do love it i haven't actually worn this shirt yet love i really yeah. like it so um oh. yeah we're gonna go shoot a it's bit more so humid. it's really humid today um we're gonna go shoot a bit more oh i should probably cover up my crusty ass belly button um <laughs> just have it on show the whole time yeah in the photos as well yeah, just like the that. manky old plaster hanging out um organic, organic. <laughs> i said i wanted to make it a bit more personal oh. <laughs> 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 Make sure you check out George's vlogs as well. Obviously, leave his channel links down below. Um, you good? Yeah, just scraped my thing across the Nice. Car. I love that. Nice. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go shoot these and we'll be done. Guys, I've just got home from work, but I'm going to go show Hayden my belly button and get his reaction. Hayden, I've got yeah. something to show you. Can I film your reaction? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure? Yes. Okay. Hello, say hello to the vlog. Hey. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, what do you oh think? God, it's, it's you. Do you think? I'm gonna get mine done now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, I was not expecting that. I know, I wanted to oh shock God. you. Tee -hee. Did you tell mum? Yeah, I told her when she picked me up from work. She went like this. <laughs> my mum went, mad. she went, why? Why? <laughs> I went, because I want her. <laughs> yes, it's very good. Do you like? Where did you let down? Um, in town. Did it hurt? I'm just talking to Hayde. Um, yeah, really hurt. Really? Re actually kind of hurt, yeah. Um, but, but it was fine, it's over now. It looks nice. Do you like it? Fine. Mm, it looks good. Thank you, love. I thought, should I, I bet Rob's reaction won't be half as good. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Can I film you or not? No. Can I? I want to get your reaction for something. Oh, I think I heard it, but... 
Why did you get that done? Because I wanted it! <laughs> I knew his reaction wouldn't be as good. How's your day anyway? Tell the vlog what you did today. I went to Bari. Went to Bari Island? Yes. Because I couldn't go because I was working. But, um, was it good? Yes. You always smell like churros when you come home. I know, I smell work. like food when I get home. My hair smells and everything. Um, did you have fish and chips? Yes, I Mum said you had gelato. Gelato? Well, you went to a nice ice cream shop. Yes. What did you have? Chocolate cone? Yeah. Chocolate ice cream? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I guess mom what mum says. <laughs> um, no, I'm glad you had a nice I day. I would get my belly button pierced, but I don't have the right belly button. How an owie. Uh, I reckon, what if it goes through the outy bit? Huh? <laughs> it goes through the outy bit. No, they, they I think you should just do your nose when the time is, when you're 16. 16. Yeah. Be like the nose Maybe. guy. And Robbie can get instant. What do you think of my lips today? They look okay. <laughs> the other night Hayden looked at me and went <gasps> yeah, because To make me feel even more conscious than I already am But the thing is, your lip went down very like, they, they're, 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 the t I don't have much lip What? I can't put that in When I look back on our old um, like vlogs and yeah. photos of you I forgot how small your lips yeah, were Yeah, I, I did as well, that's why it's come as a bit of a shock to yeah, me. Yeah, it was a shock for me because like your lips used to, like generally now that they used to be like big. Yeah. So I was like, oh, when I think of you, I think of that. I but know, I, I know, I know. I'm excited to get them redone. Oh, I can't wait. And then they'll be more expensive. Yeah. They'll look better. I am paying more. Ooh. <laughs> face mask is on. Oh, I must have knocked my face whilst putting my jammies on. Face mask is on, teeth whitening strip is in. Having a little pamper on this Friday night. I did get sent this, it is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask, but it is really, really good. I really like it. And yeah, I, I said that didn't I? I've got a crest strip in. Um, I think me and my mum and dad are gonna watch the Friends reunion now. Um, my dad thought it was gonna be like an episode of them like coming back and like, coming back like however many years later but i think it's just them sat talking like i'm sure you probably would have all watched it by now but that's a bit of a shame i kind of oh i don't know but then maybe that would ruin it if they um if they did that like an actual episode Ooh, i like friends i'm not the biggest i was never like mega into it i've just had it on like every now and again but definitely still up for watching the um just put my dressing gown on the reunion um so yeah we're gonna chill and tomorrow morning i might go get an acai bowl it's been a while um since the vlog Ooh. here's how she's doing now as you guys can see this is what i meant about the copper piercing um i don't know maybe it'll grow on me yeah i might go get an acai bowl i'm teaching tomorrow um, and then I'm going out tomorrow night, which will be fun. Got some places booked for some drinks, um, maybe food. Had a nice day with George though, really fun. It's really fun shooting with someone. Um, so yeah, let's go watch the friends at Ray. Oh, we're, 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 <laughs> we're teaching. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's an emergency! Hello guys, back from teaching. I have a, you can see so much of my teeth now that my lips are smaller. Um, I have a lip plumper on. It's the Soap and Glory one because I am going out for drinks tonight. And yeah, I, just like personal preference to me, like I'm not, obviously fill is a choice and like I chose to get it but I knew that I had to dissolve it in order to like get more essentially. But I don't know, I didn't realise how it would make me feel and it sounds my mum thinks I sound like so ridiculous and I'm, I don't mind if you guys think I sound ridiculous because it's such like a superficial thing really um but yeah it's mad how less confident I feel I don't know if you can tell because I feel like I haven't vlogged as much um which is so stupid but I guess it's all part of the process and you know they'll be back to how they were soon I think because for so many years 
I overdrew my lips and this is like a big to anyone else like to my mom like to my friends and like to you don't look at someone and automatically look at their lips like that's not what you notice about a person but I don't know when it's an insecurity it feels like so much more of a bigger deal than it actually is um but I mean it's nice to be natural for a bit and it does make me think of my like 18 year old self um yeah not in a deep way <laughs> but i just have a gin it's a passion fruit gin it's really nice and i'm just getting ready to go out so i have curled my hair this is such it's not really the best way to curl your hair but it's such a quick way to do it if you curl your hair in a ponytail because you just do the whole ponytail um but i thought i would because i know that i haven't vlogged a lot so i thought i would vlog a few clips of me getting ready to go out i really like this primer and i'm nearly out of it is the max factor um miracle prep three in one primer um it really just helps to smooth out all the skin before makeup i was wondering what i'm gonna wear tonight is it a date is it not a date did i just say that going to do foundation then i'm gonna do eyes and then i'll do the rest of my face but really love that primer yeah so i was teaching today me and finn my cousin went to get an acai bowl this morning i had my camera i literally gave it to him and then i didn't end up vlogging which is so i literally got back and saw my camera on my back seat and i thought yeah i forgot so we had a nice acai bowl honestly they go down a treat all the time, but... Ooh, does that match? Oh, no, it does match. The camera doesn't make it look a bit dark. Um, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. They go down a treat all the time, but today just felt especially... Especially... Oh, my gosh, I didn't think I told you guys. So, last weekend, last Sunday, I was, I was quite hungover. Um, and I was working at... I think it was, like, four. So, I had, like, pretty much the whole day. But... I ordered an acai bowl to a leisure centre near me because it, the delivery doesn't reach to my house. I paid double just to get an acai bowl because I wanted one that badly. But I am in work tomorrow at 12, um, so I can't go. I can't go too too wild tonight. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to do my eyes. I'm just going to do a little subtle eyeliner with some um, eyeshadow. Add some lashes and charge my battery in the meantime. The foundation I just used was the Primark matte foundation, but they've changed this now. They've changed the bottle. I don't know if they changed the formula, but they've changed the shades. So now I have no idea what shade I am. Also, how white do my teeth look? Did leave that teapot and ship on for about two hours which i do not recommend i have finished my eyes i used the fluttery light lashes from ilia i trimmed the front slightly um and i've just used the um maybelline fit me concealer underneath my eyes as always always i have less time than i thought so maybe we'll do a little time lapse oh also belly button belly button is fine it feels fine the bar's okay it's kind of growing on me kind of not i really just bought sims it was on sale for 99 man what a weird sign of the time need to keep busy trying to eat the hours away who knew that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah, think of the places I could be. So I give up and watch TV. I think I'm going crazy, pacing around my room. Tell me that it gets better being alone, alone together. The world is upside down and I'm turning inside out. Tracing clouds, I can't believe I'm missing crowds. Time moving so slow, again I'm staring at my phone. Yesterday feels a year ago. Wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah, then think of the places I could be. So I give up and watch the TV. And I think I'm going crazy. Jordan's to match my blue bag.
this is how the makeup came out. Pretty happy with it. I'm excited. <laughs> Hello guys, it's a couple of days later but I've been at work the past few days so there's not really been anything Ooh. Yeah, there hasn't really been anything to vlog and I've been at work today but the fam, do you want to be on it? The fam picked me up Dad's just gone back to the car to get some jumpers because it is like the hottest day of the year today um, I was gutted I was working but we're now in Pizza Hut and um, the aircon's on quite high so it's a little bit chilly um, we wanted to go to Nando's but the queue was like 40 to 50 minutes which wasn't ideal um, my makeup looks patchy I guess because I have my so mask on I don't know. but um, we are going to see Corella in the cinema tonight which we're all really excited for can you tell you what an update it's healing pretty well it all feels fine the colour of the bars growing on me which is nice there it is <laughs> oh no the guy just turned the aircon off for us Oh no, I feel a bit bad now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for food and I'm excited to just be in a cinema, get a Tango Ice Blast, watch Cruella. Okay, mine's not here yet because Dad forgot to do mine in the same order. <laughs> but um, it all looks really good. How's the mac and cheese, Mum? Oh, top. How are yours? Good? Thumbs up? Good? Might try one of Dad's cheesy bits around the edge. We had these cheese triangles they were really good okay mine's not here Woo. we're in view and i'm really excited guys look how tall they are oh, this is look how tall they are now <laughs> stop why do we look the same height come here why are we the same height why are we the oh tango ice blast is definitely happening same it's been secured we're in Okay guys, we are out. Oh my gosh, that is- It was so good. It was absolutely amazing, like, wasn't it? Yeah. I really can't get over it, wasn't it, Mum? It was really good. Robbie's just in the toilet, but he said it's the, what did he say, the best, the best Disney, Disney film, film he's ever seen. Oh, oh it's my gosh, everyone go and watch it right now. Yeah, it was so 10 out of 10. Yeah. Amazing, you have to go, it's so clever. It's so like, well done and like wow i'm obsessed you have to go and watch it tell my vlog what you thought yeah it's one of the best films one of the best disney films i've ever seen that means go and watch it <laughs> it was so good